Good morning guys, welcome to another brand new weekly vlog. If you're new around here, my name is Amy and I vlog every single week of my vlog. Every single week of my vlog? Every single week of my life. This is vlog number 13. Yes, I did go and see that horror film I was talking about last week over the weekend. It was called Immaculate. Um, and actually, it was nowhere near as scary as I thought it was going to be. I am such a wimp when it comes to anything like that. I've got a very overactive imagination. I am the jumpiest person you will ever meet. And those traits just don't need any help. So I tend to steer clear of things that uh, are likely to scare. I, I don't find being scared very fun <laughs> says the girl who used to fall asleep listening to true crime true crime feels different to me somehow it feels like um more of a precautionary measure she's learning um how to avoid such things whereas horror it just feels a little bit unnecessary i just don't i don't need to feel scared i just want to eat some popcorn and have a good time you know but actually immaculate was not too scary are you guys into horror films let me know in the comments because I just don't understand it. Like, some of my friends absolutely love them. My boyfriend, Charlie, he loves them. I I just don't get it, guys. I don't get it. Life's stressful enough. I don't need more stress, you know. But yeah, we went and it was actually fine. I haven't had any nightmares. I only did a couple of little jumps. I was very shocked when, like, the title card came up and it said it was an 18. I am 27 years old, 28 next month, but... I really don't think I've watched very many 18 rated movies in my life. Maybe, I think I could probably count them on both hands. So I was, I was shocked and surprised, but it was fine. Just seeing I've got 150 unread emails. That is way too much for 9.30 a.m. on a Monday. A lot of them will be like spam from over the weekend, but I'm not mentally prepared for that. Anyway, as you can see from the elephant in the room, AKA the state of my office, um, basically over the weekend I wanted to do loads of vintage stuff and I did start doing vintage stuff but I've had like a bit of a weird tummy bug and I still feel a bit weird. I just could not get into it so I thought it's the weekend I'm not going to push myself too hard. I've just realised that you can see in the corner this Plumbella Sims video that I've been watching. It's fantastic guys. It's like it's four hours and ten minutes long. I've watched just under three hours of it and basically have you guys heard about the sims movie apparently there's rumors of a sims movie happening and being attached to margot robbie which i'm so here for if it is done well but i do have faith in margot robbie and i love the sims i used to literally lose like whole weekends to playing the sims when i was younger um i don't play it too much anymore but basically i really struggle to sleep in silence so if i'm here by myself quite often i will stick something on the computer while i fall asleep and i need them to be like super low stakes because i don't want to get too involved then i will sometimes watch sims videos so my like youtube watch thing uh like algorithm like thinks i absolutely love sims videos because i so often fall asleep to them so they get like hours and hours of watch time from me she's a very dedicated viewer in her sleep you see so this video came up and plum bella is my favorite sims youtuber i think she's brilliant but this video is fantastic it is like a deep dive have you guys seen mike's mike the ones about pretty little lies it's based on that but it's about like the different families in the sims and like their backstories and stuff it's really good if you like that sort of thing um which i apparently do but yeah anyway um today i need to film some content because i'm trying to get like ahead of my content for the week because like i said i'm going away in like four weeks time basically i'm going to try and do two weeks worth of content this week and two weeks worth of content next week and then i've got two weeks to focus on florida stuff getting ready for florida and stuff obviously not these vlogs these vlogs will be in real time but for instagram and maybe even tiktok so that's kind of my main project for the week is getting like two weeks worth of content so i fully planned out a week's worth i did a big shoot with maria on saturday and we got some really good content but then the weather went bad and it's due to be bad all week so i'm gonna have to spread it out and make it last so i'm gonna have to shoot quite a lot at home which is fine but now due to the state of this because of the vintage issue. I feel like I need to address some of the vintage stuff before I do anything else. So basically, I'm gonna package up everything that's already sold. I managed to put um, like maybe 30 items on there. 
um, which I think is maybe just under half of what I've got. By the way, guys, this stuff has like accumulated over a really long time i've been keeping it in a pile behind my sofa for ages um until i had like the time and energy to put it up on vintage and i finally said enough is enough but basically a lot of this stuff is like stuff i used to wear to sixth form like for context i'm 26 years old <laughs> I lied to you just then, I am 27. Nearly 28 actually, I turned 28 in less than a month. That's how like severely I've been clinging onto this stuff. So I am sort of sad to see it go, but also like it is definitely time. I don't wear any of it, I don't fit into most of it. But also it's just not my style anymore. So yeah, I'm excited to get it shifted so I've got a bit more space. I've got I think 18 more declutters on the wheel and the house kind of feels worse than ever because where stuff has come out of places i haven't figured out how to like ethically get rid of it so yeah vintage is the answer for this week if you fancy checking out my vintage go ahead i don't know how much will still be on there by the time you guys see this um because obviously that, like I'm, i'll post this on sunday and it's monday so that's like nearly a whole week but check out and see first things first before i tackle all that i'm gonna make myself a milkshake do you want one um this is a recipe that i put together during lockdown i say a recipe like i'm doing anything like other than sticking some stuff in a blender this cupboard is in desperate need of declutter i used to refer to it as a smoothie but it's definitely more of a milkshake basically i just take one banana these bananas are perfect by the way i love it when they've still got a little bit of green on them yeah it's one whole banana and then basically i used to use biscoff the spread but i don't have any in so i'm going to use lotus biscuits um i don't know how many to put in banana can be quite overpowering so you need to make sure there's enough biscoff in there you know then milk of choice i go for soya and sometimes i put some ice in as well um but we don't actually have any ice at the moment and i just sort of put like that much in. Yeah. It's not really an exact science. I don't really believe in recipes. <laughs> Just sort of dump things in and put the best. Banana, biscoff, soy milk. I'm so excited I haven't had this in ages. Mmm. That's a good one. That's a very good ratio. I've been doing vintage for a little while, and to be honest, for a while I felt quite like I didn't really know how to use it very well. I really considering social media is my job i actually really hate learning how to use like new websites new technologies particularly something like vintage work like kind of comes with responsibility you know people are paying you money for things um, and actually it took me ages to buy anything off vintage as well for the same reason because i was just like oh god what if i do it wrong or i get something and it's not how i think it's going to be and blah, blah 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 but actually i feel like i've really gotten to grips with it now and i've even actually bought a couple of bits for my dizzy trip of vintage i'm kind of seeing them as like vintage um clothing rental almost because i think basically i've bought a couple of bits that i will wear when i'm in orlando and then i know that realistically i probably won't wear them again so because they're like disney themed in a way that's like a little bit too aggressive maybe for london i bought some bits i'm probably gonna buy some more i'm gonna wear them in florida and then i'm just gonna sell them on vintage and then i would have paid for postage but like the cycle continues you know and it means i'm not buying brand new stuff i'm not keeping hold of loads of stuff that i'm not realistically gonna wear it seems like a pretty good system to me but also using vintage a little bit more as a buyer has actually taught me a lot more about how i should be using it to sell more effectively for example I typed Taylor Swift in just to see what will come up. I am going to see Taylor Swift in August, so not yet, but I just wanted to see what the vibes were, you know? And quite a lot of stuff came up that was like, for example, a super sleigh, very sparkly blazer. And I thought that's interesting because that's not like Taylor Swift merch, so why has that come up? And it's because the girl had put in the description, like, would be perfect for a Taylor Swift concert. So it's not even in the title, it's in the description. And I think that goes to show how, like, if you want success selling on Vinted, you need to try and think about, like, searchability and what what you want people no what the kind of target audience for that item of clothing are going to be searching. So when I've been doing these i've put like would be great for workwear or to wear in the office or i've said like lovely for summer holidays and things like that and i've noticed that that's really helped these heels for example previously i would have just put like great for formal occasions or something like that whereas now if i was doing it again i would put like great for formal occasions like 
weddings, proms, balls, <laughs> you know, like actually list the things that people are more likely to be searching because like I know that I'd probably be more likely to type in like wedding guest outfit or wedding guest dress than I would like formal dress, you know? So don't just describe the item, think about its use. I'm just packing up this maxi dress because it's sold and it's reminded me that this was my first ever like maxi length skirt. And when I was growing up, like when I was a teenager, they weren't really very fashionable and then suddenly they were so fashionable but I, I thought that they wouldn't be like, I don't know, I wasn't brave enough to wear one. And then I bought this from Miss Selfridge. And I remember I had to gear myself up to wear this. I wore it with like feather earrings because that was in at the time and some sandals and I wore it to a summer party, like a barbecue at a school friend's house. And I felt like hot shit. Everyone was saying to me, oh my God, I love your dress. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. And just before I'd left the house, I was so nervous to wear it because I was like, everyone's gonna laugh at me. And no. And me and midi and maxi length dresses, we've been like this ever since. I've got some big girl trousers on. And by big girl trousers, I mean I've upgraded from pyjamas to joggers. And now I'm going to take this slot up to the impost lockers. Okay, it's literally hours later now. But basically, Charlie and I, completely unplanned, just set up this really cute, ignore that, vintage file little reel filming spot in the office which i'm so excited about so i've just filmed a reel that is well it was supposed to be five ways of wearing this leopard print midi skirt but i actually got really carried away and it ended up being seven seven ways so basically if you ever wanted to know how to wear a leopard print midi skirt for a week straight uh that video should now be on my instagram and probably a talking version also on my tiktok maybe I can't decide if the talking version might give me the ick, it really might. Amy from the future here, also filming on my phone. Sorry, it looks so different. This, as you can see, is a bit of a spoiler for what we got up to later in the week. But I do just want to say, I am currently so close to my goal of a thousand subscribers. So if you've watched this far into the vlog and you are not yet subscribed, please, if you do enjoy them, consider clicking subscribe so I can hit my little, my little pre-birthday goal because we're very, very close. Good morning. I am in Central today. I shot most of the day and I have already been on the tube and it wasn't actually too bad. I was expecting it to be really busy, but I just remembered I packed myself a coffee. I could kiss me. I was watching a documentary the other day about the tubes. You can tell that's Charlie's influence. I'm strictly a non, no, I'm strictly a fiction girl when it comes to TV and stuff, um, with the exception of like the odd true crime bit. Charlie's documentaries all the way and I'm watching so many documentaries at the minute. I don't hate it, but I do miss watching fiction. I need to still watch other series as well. But yeah, anyway, I was watching a documentary the other day about the London Underground. And did you know that apparently the rush hour doesn't really exist on Mondays and Fridays anymore because of the amount of people hybrid working? Um, it only really happens, why is it pink up here? Oh, it's an ad for L'Oreal LV. Look, it's all pink. Um, apparently, a lot of people who work in offices now only go in on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. And on the documentary, they said that they call themselves the twats for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But so apparently, rush hours on Mondays and Fridays aren't really as severe anymore. And I think that's worth bearing in mind. Because I am lucky enough to be self-employed and therefore plan my own week, I avoid rush hour like the plague. So good to know that I don't have to think about it so much on Mondays and Fridays now. Anyway, I'm above ground now and I'm on my way to go and meet Abigail. We are going to a shoe event this morning. Um, and basically they've got a new like shoe recycling scheme. So they have very kindly let us both choose a pair of shoes. That is a very annoying sound. London's very noisy this morning. Yes, they have very kindly let us pick a new pair of shoes, but to pick them up, we have to take an old pair in that we don't wear anymore um, to be recycled. As you guys know, I actually decluttered my shoes a couple of weeks ago. But so I just picked a pair that I hadn't actually put on Vinted because this is just an old pair of running trainers which have definitely seen better days. So they will be recycled today. And I'm gonna pick up some new shoes, but I actually don't know which ones they are because they asked us to send like three links and then they pick. I think based on like stock levels and stuff. Here's the little outfit check. This is actually one of the outfits that I wore for the leopard print skirt thing yesterday. Um, but I liked it, so I'm wearing it again today. What's your favorite pair of shoes in the showroom, Abigail? Don't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> I love these. 
They're like Vega Bonds. Look how Lizzie McGuire vibes these are. Yeah, they are very cool I feel actually. Like I had something like this in 2021 minus this. Yeah, I love a platform. Yeah. I actually really like these platform Ugg sandals. I feel like they look really comfy and actually I would wear them a lot. I bet you would. I would. The girl he was saying, uh, they're coming back and they were creepers at school. Did you yeah. ever wear creepers or No, we were creepers? very, the school were very against creepers, but I did hear, hear the cool the cool kids doing it. I was just in ballet pumps. Yeah. And ah. plimps. I can't even <laughs> remember what I wore to school. These are my favourites, I think. The I love these red Adidas trainers and the, I really like the blue New Balance as well. And also these, which I've never heard of, they're called the Pop. Oh, they're um, so sick. The green one. Really yeah, they're very cool, aren't they? With going to Disney World in a few weeks, I'm very much in the market for a new pair of trainers. Um, because guess how many steps you do when you're in Disney World? Like roughly. 20k. Yeah, like 20 to 30k. A That's day a for two day. weeks. You're so, going to be absolutely beside yourself. Yeah, I'm going to need very, very good shoes. A nice sponge. Yeah, a good sponge. Yeah. Oh my god, look at these bags that are made from old shoes. And there are jackets as well. We've got vitamin D shots. I've never had one of these. take shots for anything. No, me neither. Let's give it a shake. Oh, you got to shake it. Shake it. This is orange, ginger, and turmeric. I'm not going to enjoy this. Guys. It's going to be horrifying. Do I smell it first or will I make it worse? Cheers. 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 Ready? Ready? Go. Really it's something. quite nice. It wasn't too bad, but it's so spicy. Here are the old shoes. I am dropping them in this bin. Yeah, Apparently they have them. these bins in their store. It's called Sell Your Souls. And basically, if you bring in an old pair of shoes, you get a five pound voucher. Even if those old shoes weren't originally from shoe, they don't have to be in any particular like condition or anything like that. It's just a recycling scheme, which is great. So that's what I've just done. And I'll be done it too. Slay. I think I say this in every vlog. I really don't think I will ever get over like walking past such iconic London places, like just casually. Like this is the Lameers Theatre, obviously, the Sondheim Theatre. And the way I worshipped Lameers when I was a teenager, I don't even, I couldn't even count how many times I've seen Lameers. Um but I used to watch the 25th anniversary concert version on DVD like most days. And the thought of living in such close proximity where like that just happens every day is very like inspiring as are the sirens the pros and cons i am actually desperate to see hades town it's probably top of my list at the minute in fact i think it definitely is um, I wanted to see it when I was in New York, but we didn't get round to it. So the fact that it's now here, and it's been here for months, and I still haven't seen it, is a crime, really. I am now in Waterstones Piccadilly with some some friends. Whoa. Look at all my friends. God, there's so many of us today. Oh my God, Did you yeah. know she's actually having a book released in September the 19th, and it's called Rewish. You should reorder it. I'm so impressed you knew the date of that. Shame. Good knowledge. Um, <laughs> big, big fan behaviour. You can pre-order it now. We've been doing a little bit of work, giving some little bits of... We've just been putting like questions to the table, really, and be like, guys, what do I do about this? Um, and yeah, it's all good. So I thought we'd go round and everyone can give you a piece of advice. My piece of advice is go and get yourself a bit of Victoria's Fuzz. That's oh, it's a good one. Spectacular. I've had it. This feels a little bit like when you have to introduce yourself to a group of people and like say a fun fact about yourself. Yeah, well, I don't have any of those. But my advice is um, if you're sad, just cry because your friends will sort of help. Because I spent the first half an hour here crying and uh, I feel better now. Don't be afraid of a break. Hiya. Hiya. Uh, my piece of advice is to um, start. <laughs> that was so threatening. That's good. But do you know just what? That's, yeah, I like that's that's really good advice. Start. Just do it. If just start. start. Yeah. Just start. Oh, I've got one. Start. Oh, is it Lucy? Um, what are you going to say? Okay, mine's actually stolen advice. Oh. I, I went to see Taylor Jenkins read the other night, who is the author of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Daisy Jones and the Six. 
one of my favourite people in the world. And her line of advice at the end was, don't waste time being a good girl. Oh. <laughs> and I thought, so start. So start. <laughs> I thought that's great advice. So uh, I can't take credit for that one, but I will take credit in sharing it with you right now. Spreading the wisdom. I actually don't know what my advice could be. Is there any topics anyone needs I some advice you, on? You, you, no, you, yeah, you, you've you done quite well recently. Really no, you've done quite well recently, haven't yeah. you? You've, you've Consistency pays off. There you go. Consistency there you go. Off there go. There we go because Perfect. I've seen, I've been consistent yeah. lately. Yeah. Yeah. See? And there you go. yeah. You've seen some results. Seen the results, yeah. finally. You popped My yourself. advice <laughs> is, <laughs> is <laughs> to set a timer on your watch oh, or any like other device and give yourself 10 minutes to do something and it will probably happen and because most things are achievable in 10 minutes and then just start or you can go on spotify and play taylor's all too well 10 minute, 10 minute version, version. This is what I used and to see how much you can do watch. in 10 minutes yeah. we've spent the majority of the day in coffee shops with the girls but we've just arrived at the theatre you're very impressed by this theatre aren't you it's an absolutely stunning theatre, to be fair. This is the Theatre Royal Drury Lane, and normally Frozen's on here, although Frozen is closing later in the year, which is quite shocking to me. I wonder what they're gonna put here. But tonight, we are watching Wild About You, which is a world premiere. It's a two-night concert. Tonight's the second night, and it's the one that I went to the rehearsals of last week, if you've seen that video. It's really cool. Now that I've been to a couple of the rehearsal rooms, it's very cool to see, like, what even just the set like what the set looks like in the rehearsal versus what it actually looks like on stage there's not much to see at the minute it's just giving curtain but i can kind of make out a bed here which i remember that's about it sorry domestic goddess today i have attempted to make some cheese and bacon turnovers these also have like garlic and herb philadelphia in them they're very hot i'm hot any good mm. Not me, domestic goddess. And also, mm. this garlic and herb, Philadelphia. Right, it's good actually. Sorry, Borsan. Move to one side. There's a new boy in town. And that is Philadelphia garlic and herb. It is very good actually. It is banging. I'm quite pleased with myself. Oh They're my messy, God. but they are stunning. That's so good. I've just realised I literally haven't vlogged all day. I've just got ready to go out. This is the outfit. I couldn't decide whether to wear sunglasses or not, but it ties the handbag in. So I'm going to have sunglasses on my head, even though it's like 20 past, 20 past five in the evening now. I've just spent all day doing really boring admin work, lots more vintage, lots of emails, all of that kind of stuff. But this evening will be fun because Maria and I were invited by Kipling, the ones with the bags that used to have the monkey keyrings on. Some of them still do, but some of them have like a bit of a style switch up nowadays to go to this disney screening premiere thing i'm not sure if it's a premiere or if it's a screening but it's a very fancy hotel um and the taxi is on its way now so i'm just waiting for that but i didn't know what to wear it's not really that warm but i kind of figured i'll be in a taxi and then inside a hotel so hopefully it's okay but yeah i've got this top that i absolutely love i got this from i think it was abercrombie last summer and I've actually gotten quite a lot of wear out of it. It's definitely coming to Florida with me. Look how These, beautiful she looks. You're so cute. These like navy trousers. And then I've got my toes out, guys. Some white heels. Nasty. I haven't worn heels in so long. I look so short. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Charlie's out this evening as well, aren't you? Yes. I am going out with my brothers. It should be nice. Yeah. Um, God, we match. Good thing we're not going out together. Yeah. The first day back. I've been unwell um, for most of this week, so it's the first day back for me at work today. So I, um, yeah, I feel a lot better, a lot more energy. Um, Good. But I'm sure Amy is glad to see me back at work because I think You're I was. Not been bad. Well, I've just been moping around the house, which yeah, that's true. Which hasn't been great for either of us, but yeah, it's just been a, it's been a good day. Um, and I'm just looking forward to catching up with my brothers. Um, You're going for Chinese, aren't you? We're going for a Chinese. I'm jealous. Yes. I mean, I'm excited to see the film, but I would like a Chinese as well. Mm. To the taxi. Here we are with our Kipling bags. Matching. Matching vibes. Matching vibes. Have we got matching monkeys as well? Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, oh it feels Yeah, we have. They're like, they're best they look friends. like, the, you know, the old monkey key rings. Looks like they've gone to the gym. Yeah, yeah, they have, yeah. They've been on their grind. They've done 75 hard. 
They might have. We're a little bit early, so we're hiding in the toilets. I love to hide in the toilet before places. Why do we always end up hiding in the toilets? It's, I feel that the toilet is a safe haven. I do agree with you. There is often a hand cream. Sometimes a seat. Yeah. Oh, there is a seat. That's a bit of a random seat for this toilet. Yeah, sometimes there's a seat. You're right. I love this wallpaper. It's home very, inspo. it's very cool. Yeah, home inspo. I love a bathroom with wallpaper. You know. Should we go? Yeah. Our Uber driver has the most complicated way of spelling George I've ever seen in my life. What was it? I'm trying to get it back. I saw it a second ago. Um, G H E O R G H E. <laughs> and fair enough. He's you know what? Nice. Fair enough. Yeah, he was lovely. He's very nice. Yeah. But that is the most complicated spelling of George I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah. We've arrived at the screening. It's very noisy through there, but we've just been taking some photos and Maria's on the floor with the burgers that we've been hoarding so that we can eat them after we've taken our photos. Absolutely. Apparently they're really good. Yeah, they are. Oh! <laughs> I'm being offered a burger. Thank you so much. Like little chicken burgers. Thank God for canapes because I have not had dinner and I'm very hungry. So canapes like this. Yeah, like good canapes. Right, let me hand you a drink. Oh, I don't have, hold on, I need to let you go. I'll speak to you. Um, I'd really like to thank Searchlight Pictures for being such an incredible partner on this. Uh, I'd love to thank Roxy Music for being involved in the movie. We really hope you like cotton candy romances, because if you don't, I apologize. Um, do you guys want to say anything? No. <laughs> They're very well spoken. So anyway, thank you all for being here. We hope you enjoy the movie and um, thank you. Thank you guys. Don't forget, hashtag the groupies hit on Instagram and all that stuff. Enjoy the film. Put your phones away. Good morning, guys. I look quite rough today and I feel it. Last night was really good fun. The film was called The Greatest Hits and it was about a girl who, or a woman, whose boyfriend um was killed in a car accident and she has this special power where she, when she listens to a song she is like transported back to the first time she ever heard it and she tries to use that to change her boyfriend's fate basically it was good it was quite sad i feel very run down at the moment like you know when you feel like you're getting ill but then you just sort of don't and you're like gaslighting yourself into thinking you're ill i've been doing that kind of all week so i've just decided to have today as a bit of a like not a do nothing day i'll probably actually still get quite a lot done but like i'm just gonna do it slowly <laughs> at my own pace um i'm gonna try and finish putting all that stuff on vintage i've done most of it it's just the t-shirts now but there are a lot of t-shirts and then to be honest i think tomorrow i'm gonna sort out my wardrobe for um spring summer which will probably then mean that i find a load more stuff that needs to go on vintage but it's good i need to go to the impost lockers actually and post out what has sold over the last day or so oh that strawberry was a bit sour but i think it's because the coffee i've got is really sweet i feel very like emotionally fragile at the moment I don't really know why. I mean, I've got quite a lot going on, just in general. But so I'm just trying to be a bit kind to myself. I might watch Extraordinary Season 2 because I haven't actually watched the rest of that yet. It's technically a bank holiday weekend, so I think for a lot of people, they have a four-day weekend this weekend. But I think I will have a nice weekend because I'm going to go to Norwich. It's my sister's birthday, so I'm going to go and see her. But I think I'm literally just going to stay there for one night. Because I just, I feel like I've got too much to do at the minute. And you know when you start to like, sort of self-sabotage, when you feel like there's too much to do, so you do nothing because you feel so overwhelmed. I've been doing a lot of that. I'm going to clean this desk. Oh, I might wash my makeup brushes. I've needed to do that for months, actually. <laughs> They're disgusting. Actually, some of them might be past repair. It might be time to part with them. Let's do. I've done remarkably little today. It's much later now. It's like 10 past four and I feel so much better. Just 
for taking a bit of time to be more chilled. All I've done all day is vintage stuff, to be honest. The pile in the office of clothes to go on vintage is still big, but it is shrinking. Charlie's just gone to get his hair cut, so while he's out, I'm gonna do a big, like, hour speed clean to get us ready for the four-day weekend. I'm gonna start in the kitchen. I'm gonna film it, but for TikTok or Instagram, I haven't decided where to put it yet, so it's gonna be the other way up. But I will show you anyway. I know that cleaning the house doesn't really scream party girl four day weekend and i can't really defend that in any way it definitely doesn't um and maybe i am just boring now maybe i've reached that age but i want to spend this weekend as relaxed as physically possible and i can't do that if i know the house is a mess so look priorities road trip hey <laughs> It is bank holiday Friday guys, we've made it. And what? I was gonna work straight through today because I've got loads to do, but then Charlie saw a really good deal <laughs> um, on a hotel that we've stayed at before in Norwich and love. And we needed to go to Norwich tomorrow anyway. So I thought... We might as well, uh, we might as well make an afternoon of it. Well, so, a day of it. And very funny, I so I called up the hotel and I went, so just wondering if this deal's still on. Yeah. Um, and then she answered and went, we actually don't have any rooms left for it. And I went, well, I've seen on your website <laughs> that one of the rooms that we really want to stay in is still available. And then she said, yep, you're right. I was wrong. And I was like, I know. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a like independent hotel. So all the rooms are really different. Um, and it was before I was vlogging, it was back in, it was October wasn't it, so it was around Halloween. Yeah. Um, we stayed in an absolutely stunning room there. And today, we're staying in another one, which will be fun. Um, I'm very excited about it. I feel like a bit of a break is exactly what I need, what we both need really. Amy and I have been very busy over the last month or so. So it's just been, when we saw the deal come up, we looked at each other and we went, <laughs> shall we? Yeah. We shall. Um, but I mean, there was one stipulation. If we couldn't get this room that we wanted to get, then we wouldn't stay there. But we got the room that we wanted. Um, because, as Amy said, they're, they're themed differently. Yeah. So, so I've the last one had a stunning bath, but I didn't realise that before we stayed there. So I didn't have anything with me. But this time I brought all my bath supplies. I'm going to have the most delicious bath. That drive was horrendous, guys. It took so long. But we've arrived at the hotel. It is Stunning. This is called the Assembly House in Norwich. It's literally in the city centre. I love it so much. Um, this is the fountain out of the window. Do you want a room tour? I bet you do. So, the door's over here, so we'll start at the door. You have this corridor, a little mirror, hello, and then there's a desk area with a little um, mirror to do your makeup, an absolutely stunning four poster bed. Sofa, chair, lovely little coffee table, these like huge windows. Why I love it in here. On your stunning boyfriend. My stunning boyfriend. He doesn't come with the room. And then look at this TV set up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then the bathroom is through here. It's massive in here, guys. I'm sorry. Look at this bath. Oh, I'm gonna be in there for so long later. I love it here so much. Yeah, the one we stayed in last time was like lilac and mustard, and this is obviously like pink and blue. I just, it's just, I think the, my favorite hotel I've ever stayed in. It's such a good location, like it's so city center, but it feels like really shut off. And actually, fun fact, so I went to an all girls school, and that school, before it moved to the building that it was in when I went to it, was based here, which I think is really cool. Um, it was a long time ago, like before I was live vibes, but I still, I don't know, I think it's cool. I loved my school. Anyway, but basically we, we were thinking about what we could do tonight and we, do, we have booked like a cute little pub to go to for dinner. But as I said yesterday, I've been feeling quite run down um, and I keep having a lot of anxiety at the minute. So I think we've decided that we're just gonna have a super chilled evening. So in aid of that, I have brought some spa supplies. So I'll show you what I've got. I'll do what's in my bag. Okay, I have brought, this is just a spare top. First of all, a very slay pajama set that is very comfy and it matches and I'm gonna feel very put together in Did it. Did you really 
Oh, I thought that you put your matches. I thought you got like a pink top and pink trousers no. just because of this. Because <laughs> it room. matches the room. No, although actually the blue kind of does match the room, which I wasn't really expecting. I forgot that there was so much blue in here. Then I have brought a choice of face masks. These are all soap and glory, so we're gonna pick one each later. I've just I've decided. Then I brought this rose sea salt. Rose sea soak calming bath salts for the bath i also brought some snacks that charlie bought yesterday that we didn't eat yet a very large skincare routine oh and some bubble bath and a book because so i'm really trying to make time for reading i haven't succeeded yet i have brought big little lies which actually perfectly matches this room which is hilarious so yeah very very excited to have a big chill I think that's what bank holiday weekends are for. But for now, we're gonna pop into the city center because it's actually my sister's birthday and I need to finish off buying a few bits. So we're gonna do that. We're in the Gerald's Deli, which is arguably the best place in Norwich. Look. <laughs> They're little Easter eggs, but they've got little eggs on top. Oh my God, I love it. I forgot it was like Easter this weekend. So I forgot that all the Easter stuff would be out and I'm obsessed. This is where we've come for dinner. It's called the Marsh Harrier. It's a cute little pub. It is on a main road, so it's a bit noisy outside, but I used to come here all the time. And I think it is part of a chain, but it just feels very like cozy and cute. So huh? it, it won't be a part of a chain because it's a free house. I won't it. Is that what a free house means? I don't know, but I love it in here. They've got pizza oven. It's cute. Pub classics, you know? Oh. What people? Chicken burger. Charlie loves a chicken burger. I swear you get a chicken burger like most places. Good? Good one? I love this hunter's chicken with the barbecue sauce, the cheese sauce. Oh, stunning. We've come out for an evening drink, which is very rare for me, but I, I've only got a Sprite. I'm not going too crazy. But we've come to a bar in Norwich called the Playhouse Bar, which is like, it's attached to a theatre. This is the theatre bit that I'm stood in now. That's why it looks remarkably like a theatre and not very much like a bar. It's cute. There's like a little piano in the other room. We've just been sitting there having a chat. And yeah, oh, I took a clip to show you of the the roof in the like main bar bit because it's like a skyline but upside down on the ceiling it's really cool <laughs> we are heavily considering going back to the hotel via scooter <laughs> yeah right the same let's see what this is all about then okay a slight spanner in the works you need to show a valid driving license to be able to get one and i don't have my driving license with me in norwich so Looks like we're not going on them this time. I mean, you can. I'll just sort of run alongside you if you like. What on earth have I got all over the sleeve of my jumper? For God's sake. We're back at the hotel now. Oh, it was a very nice little evening, actually. Um, Charlie's just run me. Oh my God, that bath looks stunning. I hadn't actually seen it with the bubbles in yet. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so nice. I'm gonna wash my hair. I've been having like a criminally good hair day today, actually. Why does that always happen when it's just about time to wash it? Look at that. My hair never looks like that. Anyway, I'm gonna wash it now. Now, not to be melodramatic or anything, but this is the most sensational bath I've ever had in my life. It's huge. I'm so submerged right now. I think I'm just gonna lay in here with my eyes shut for a bit. It feels like, apart from I can hear all the bubbles popping. I'm just gonna like take my brain out and put it on the side next to me here. Uh, sit in here in silence for a bit this impromptu bank holiday night away was the best idea either of us have had oh my god it's crazy how all your problems just sort of, sort of disappear when you're in a big bath i've had a bath i've had a shower i've washed my hair i feel so like fresh and revived now for my hotel ritual of checking what the most recent searches were on the youtube on the tv oh this is a really wholesome one drake at the bottom and then Briding pa bridal party getting ready playlist that's really cute this would be such a good room for a bridal party particularly because of all the pink music this will be natalie cole and coco melon is that a kid thing i feel like that's a kid's thing i can just hear like Disney World music coming from the bathroom and I know it's because Charlie's on TikTok and his entire TikTok for you page at the moment is just Disney World stuff because we've been googling everything about Disney World um but yeah it's his turn to have a bath now honestly I think that was the best bath I've ever had in my life I feel so rejuvenated and each to their own and everything but I never understand couples who have like baths and showers together like that is me time but I thought while he's in the bath 
I would give you a little Norwich haul because I went to Gerald's and also to Lisa Angel. Um, Gerald's is an independent department store. I actually used to work. Um, I used to work on Clinique and then Lisa Angel is like a gifts store. They have several shops in Norwich but they also have an online shop so you might have heard of them. But first of all from Gerald's Beauty Hall I got some Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is actually for my sister um, but I do also use this. It's fantastic. Um, and then I also got my like Holy Grail lipstick that I had run out of like months ago and I haven't used it in ages so I bought a new one. This is the Clinique Pop Lipstick. It's a matte one and it's in the shade 01 Blushing Pop. And honestly, this is like my go-to nude lipstick. It's matte, but it's not drying at all. It's like, it feels really satiny on the lips. It's the best lipstick I've ever used. I've thought that for years now, like it is a holy grail product for me. And then actually I got a couple of free samples as well. I got a little magic cream sample. I love Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and I do think it's a fantastic product, but it's so expensive. Like, unless it's going to give me a whole new face, I don't think any product is really worth that price point. Some Clinique Moisture Surge, my number one favourite ever moisturiser. Sorry, my camera died, so we're on my phone now. I feel like I look really wonky. Never mind. Yeah, I got some Clinique Dramatically Different, um, which is like the other one of their main moisturisers. I prefer Moisture Surge myself, but this one is nice. So that was it for the beauty haul. But then we went down to the deli, which, as you saw earlier in the vlog, is probably my favorite place in Norwich. The Gerald's Deli, it feels almost like a farm shop. There's like loads of like independent, locally sourced foods, snacks, cheese, uh, what else? There's loads of like bakery looking stuff. They had this Aero, Mint Aero Rocky Road that looked amazing, but I've never tried anything from that like fresh, bakery section but i do really want to from down there i got some hot chocolate some of these are for my sister this chocolate brand nor chocolate is literally my number one favorite chocolate brand i think it's from norfolk originally but these like hot chocolate stick things are elite then charlie pointed at these so i picked these up um because i thought they looked interesting to try i think they're french they are french it says well it's all actually written in french so <laughs> must be french but um, they are pesto mozzarella, like crinkle cut crisps. I'm very intrigued. And then we went into Lisa Angel, which is just like my go-to shop when I'm going to buy presents. I think the, the bits and pieces they have in there, they are always just such gorgeous little presents. I spend so much money in there around Christmas. We went in there and I don't think you'll mind me showing you because it will have been her birthday by the time this goes up. Charlie bought my sister this incredible puzzle for her birthday which looks so so cute and then he also got two of these bars of tony's chocoloni they're called everything bars i actually don't know what's in here it says milk chocolate with caramel pretzel almond nougat and sea salt oh, that sounds amazing apparently these are like super super limited edition um and he's been trying to find them in London, but we haven't been able to. So to be able to find them in Norwich, it was a very nice surprise. Um, and then the last thing Charlie bought, which I'm not going to unwrap for you. Um, it's just in here. It's a little mini terrarium because he's wanted one for ages and they had some really cute ones in there. So yeah, that's my Norwich haul. I love going shopping in Norwich because I feel like there are so many more like little, like small businesses or like independent places to shop or... Um, I like the experience of going shopping, like actually walking into a shop and like looking around. I had so much fun, like I was looking at all the jewellery and Lisa Angel and stuff. It was so nice. I think I've decided this is how I want to spend every bank holiday for the rest of my life. It's so lovely here. So yeah, I'm just going to do some skincare. I watch a film. I need some peppermint tea. <laughs> how are you, pesto crisps? Fucking stunning. They are unreal. And how was your bath? On my walk. <laughs> I am. Um, I'd say I'm about nine out of ten chilled. Yeah, I agree. All week we've been watching The Gentleman. It's very good. Some of my friends recommended it. It's like Kingsman vibes. On Netflix it says the crime of breaking bad with the humour of Kingsman, and I do agree with that. It's really good and we're very near the end so i think we're gonna finish it oh also i keep seeing this baby reindeer i really want to watch it it's by the same people 
a, what a series I really like. I can't remember what. It looks really good. That looks really good, the three body problem. Yeah, this is what we're watching. Oh my God, stop it. Breakfast in the room. That was like the best night's sleep I've ever had. Pancakes, let's go. When the day is gone and the sun don't shine on the moon. I wish that we could have that music on the background, but YouTube will put a strike on it. It will, yeah. Um, good morning, guys. How pretty does she look? <laughs> I've got a new jumpsuit on. I actually kind of got it for Disney World because it reminds me of the Mickey the Magician Disney is. Um, so I might wear this on my birthday in Disney World, but actually today we're going out to celebrate my sister's birthday, which will be lovely. We're going to like a fun fair, we might go to the cinema, we're going out for lunch. So I'm. this is like the bougiest background I've ever had in one of my vlogs. But so I'm not gonna film all that just because I want to enjoy the day. Um, and because it's a Sunday. Is it Sunday? No, it's Saturday. It's a Saturday, but it's but a bank holiday. It was a ba bank holiday yesterday, so it did it does feel like, like a, a Sunday. Sunday yeah. Well we had a really um we had a really nice breakfast actually, so it felt That's very true. like Sunday morning vibes. It really does feel like a Sunday today. It's got Sunday energy. But yeah, I hope you're all having a lovely bank holiday weekend, whatever it is you're doing. As always, please let me know in the comments because I'm nosy and you guys have watched my whole week. Now I want to know what you've been up to this week. We're just going to have a nice chilled bank holiday weekend in my new jumpsuit. It's from Joni, by the way. I don't know if I suit it. What do you think? Anyway. I think you look lovely. Thank you. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you next week with another vlog. Bye guys.